at Kanala Exports, we believe that a peaceful heart is a strong heart. Cultivating serenity is possible even Thank you during for shopping times at of crisis. Kanala Exports. I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us... The Alliance can use your help. There's plenty of non-combat roles. Um, uh, thanks? Who was that? First human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard? He thinks we could do some good. Okay, I'll look at that recruitment brochure. this against all known locations and update the map. Then contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard, we've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley, could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. Could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid attention to your warnings about the Reapers, we might not be in this war. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough's near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! <laughs> This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a C-Sec alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You tell me. I... I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then... It was dark. Cold. Like... I was someplace else. And then? I don't know! A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson, there was... A loud noise. That was you shooting him. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. You have to believe that. So someone else pulled that trigger? But I would never do that! Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... Gah! What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get him over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with him. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. 
Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator, and it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. Anything capable of killing a Reaper could do a lot of collateral damage. Yet given the state of this conflict, I believe the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, may be relevant. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'd swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn up the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garneau appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan. But he does not state a destination. Let's focus on what he does say, then. He mentioned extrapolating Leviathan's path. And crunching numbers. He wasn't flying blind. He had data. A significant amount of data, judging by this office. So how do we narrow it down? Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. Does this tell us where Garnome went? No, but we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan. These are all murders in which... Here's the time and date chart for the crimes. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding the search filter, you may find the results in the galaxy map program. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Bryson was tracking unexplained creature sightings. Bryson was not merely tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. Edie, can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding this search filter to the galaxy map. Meteorite fragment, maybe? He was studying it. 
meteorite sample with traces of element zero, would Leviathan need Ezo? While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, element zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with element zero? Adding the search filter now. that Bryson's team is using ancient Rachni fleet activity to find Leviathan. If we can find data on the movement of ancient Rachni ships, those appear to be sightings of ships that match Rachni signatures. Adding it now. Bryson. By Anne Bryson. H9. This does not seem relevant at the moment. By Anne Bryson. H9. This does not seem relevant at the moment. Dr. Bryson, per your request, I'm clearing Task Force Aurora for intercepted Batarian communications regarding the Leviathan. Sovereign. Hope they've got that thing shielded. By Anne Bryson. Page nine. This does not seem relevant at the moment. Sir, this is Bryson. We know the Reapers are after Leviathan. Studying Reaper hunting patterns could be vital to finding it. That data is classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands... It won't. The data's encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Close to his heart? What the hell does that mean? The Reaper fleet activity is encrypted, per Bryson's statement in the log. He said he was keeping the decryption key close to his heart. Element Zero deposits. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Rachni activity. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. By Anne Bryson. Age 9. Records indicate Anne is now 28. She works for the Alliance. Bryson was keeping the encryption key close to his heart. What's closer than family? An interesting hypothesis. But I detect no trace of the decryption key in this... art. of Anne Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. Well, take a look at that. I can use these numbers to construct a decryption key. All right, let's get back to the data pad we found earlier.
and sightings. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Element zero deposits. Based on the search results, Garno is in one of these five systems. I have marked the Normandy map with possible locations. We can leave now, unless you wish to further narrow the search. Rachni activity. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Five possible systems. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Five possible systems. Alien sightings. Three possibilities. Results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Three possibilities. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Three possibilities.
found something. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. That beacon gave us a few years to prepare. Without it, the Reapers would have finished this already. Right. So any other Prothean artifact on Eden Prime could be just as important. Cerberus can't be allowed to keep whatever they've found. Recovery is our preferred option, but we'll destroy it if we have to. Understood. Do you have any idea what Cerberus found? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. They'll rebuild this place, once we've dealt with Cerberus. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Eden Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does. But they'll be stronger for it. this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe... Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Hey, Doc. Any idea what that is? I can't tell much from here, but it's from their final dynasty. Functional, but without the decoration of earlier periods. 
Archaeologists always wondered why Prothean architecture became simpler at the end. It's clear now. They were too busy fighting the Reapers to care about aesthetics. There. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean. So it's a body? No. Cerberus found a living Prothean. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. The Protheans had powerful stasis technology. That's the only reason any of their artifacts survived intact. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. Good thing we brought our Prothean expert. I hope I can help. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Heads up! Get moving before more of them come back. Return to dark space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis port. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. I've 
You've got the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean Beacon. You had a vision of the Reapers last time you were here on Eden Prime. It must attune your mind to understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. Son of a bitch, this was somebody's home. footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. that one too? Yes. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod. Backup forces are here.
retracted the bridge. We have to find another way across. Transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Lots of boaties inbound, Commander. We'll have to hold this position. Uh -huh. 
Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. Wish my corner man was here. I could use an ice pack. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. If anybody's low, there's a Cerberus supply cache in the building next door. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. now. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now!
I will be more than that. How many others? Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I've read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. I am surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons. Yes. Which? You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why won't they heed it? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art. Killing. What was your mission? A 
among my people. There were avatars of many traits, bravery, strength, cunning, a single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people, demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. I'm sorry I finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people. Imparting experience through touch. The chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished, and if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried, none succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago, in ways we could never imagine. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. 
Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved. I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Then welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. <laughs>